What's going on everybody? Back again and getting ready to hit the road. As you can see, um, getting ready to leave my state of Ohio here and head on south down to Florida to Amelia Island. Uh, so it's about an 11, 12 hour drive. No biggie, just gonna get on the road and go. So got lots of things to do. So we get this thing going and the old man was kind enough to let me borrow his uh, X340M. So we're gonna have some fun getting down there quick. I didn't wanna drive my truck down there because sucks up gas and the way gas prices are going right now is going to be insane so anyways next stop uh will be a pit stop on the way down so i'll kind of keep you in the loop on the whole way down later talk to you soon hey what's up guys um uh, i'm a little more than halfway where i gotta get to um just kind of getting through columbia south carolina right now uh so been on the road since 9 15 a.m and it is 5 45 now so I had a couple stops, use the restroom, get a little go-go juice. But I gotta say one thing. I don't get people that just park out in the left lane and just they just don't look in their mirrors or what. I don't know. It's just really annoying. You know, I, I wanna come up with something to sign. So I got an idea in my head. So anyone out there that's uh, like an electrical engineer or something that knows how to kind of make a, a sign, uh, let me know. Reach out to me, shoot me a message. All right, next stop, we'll be in Amelia Island. And good morning. It is Friday, March 4th, and I am uh, headed to Amelia. Uh, first thing we're going to do today is we are going to the Gooding Company auction uh, to check out what they got. They got a lot of nice Ferraris uh, up for auction. There's one in particular. It's a F430 six-speed gated manual. Uh, they're estimated between three to 400 grand. So I'm really curious to see what that one goes for. It has kind of, I guess, maybe set the market there on those F430s with the six-speed. So that thing goes for uh, top dollar. You're gonna see a flood of the market with some gated six-speed manual 430s. So, but uh, we'll see what happens. So um, about two hours out, I drove a good, oh, I don't know, 10 hours or so. Yes, a little bit more, I uh, had enough. So I parked it in Savannah. Got out and now we're doing so, but now I'm sitting in traffic in Florida. Uh, so I don't know if it's construction or accident or whatnot, but we shall see. So, but I should be at the Gooding auction probably about two, three hours. So, till next time. Concourse Drive, look what we got going on here. This little parade of vehicles. Nice Ely. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's so many of those. Only 14 of those ever made. Trying to go as slow as I can. I got people behind me. Nice Aston. Look at that hot rod. Look at that. Oh, pretty. I believe that's all we got. So. So hey, welcome to Amelia Island. There's a lot more cars coming, I guess, down the thing. I don't know how long that little parade is, but oh, there's another one of the, I can't remember the name of those things. There's two of them. So there's only 14 of those made. So, all right, but on to Gooding. All right, guys, we're here at the Gooding auction. Uh, I'm gonna go around this front room, kind of go around the cars that we got showing here and what's going on. There's tons of other cars over here in that other room too. There's lines that go in from here. Uh, I'll try and get what I can, so let's flip this thing around and show you what they got. Alright, gotta restart that. Somehow it stopped. Well, look at that. Right behind the front axle, front mid engine. Got a beautiful 930 Porsche. 75. I like this pewter color. Oh, this thing is clean. Let's get a shot back here of it. Kind of go down along. Shot of the motor. Look at that. That's very pretty. And then, as always, is your standard at every auction. You gotta have a gall wing. God, look at this. That is pretty. Let's get a shot of that. It's 96. Let's come around this way. Get a shot of this front. Come around. They got this going about 1.1 to 1.3. So follow up on your auctions results. 
Let's see what this thing goes for. See if they're on the money. But look at that. That's pretty. And here we got a 59 718 RSK. Look at that. Wow. That is gorgeous. Let's try to get a shot here inside. It's a very, very good one. Back along the side here. It's all right. Go ahead. <laughs> so I was checking it out. So it's good from any angle, isn't it? <laughs> Check out that trunk coming out the back. That's an exhaust. Look at that thing. Let's get a very shot. Look at that. What's going on there? Coming across. Coming down. And that's going at 2.5 to 3.5, they're saying. Beautiful stuff. When we came back, we got the Tesla Rosa recreation, which I'm a fan of. It doesn't bother me much because you can go out and enjoy it and drive it. So you got the gated. Look at that. They did a hell of a job, whoever put this together. Phenomenal. Check out this 507. One of my favorite. This is the Z8. It's got some lovely patina to it. This is when you can get out there, go and drive, and just have some fun with it. Look at that well worn interior. Well loved. Look at that. Outstanding. Hard top. Come along. Backside of this. Want to try to get a better shot? We got some guys on there. You come across. We got Unser's, Al Unser's Camaro from the IROC series. Look at that purple. And then we're going to come across this beautiful Allard. Look at that. Come across. K3. God, that's nice. I love the color combo. And you got the Barquetta next to it. And again, my fan favorite, the gated six speed. Yeah, silver with black. That thing's pretty. What are they saying this is going to go for? 550 to 650. Let's come around. We got the roof over in the corner. Silver. Yeah. Come around this way. Do I get people's way taking photos? Coming around. Let's go down the center. We got the speedster. Fifty to three twenty-five. We'll back up. Get a shot of that. And then another alley. Look at that beauty. I think it's gorgeous. I know they're doing the recreation. These are continuations, whatever I call them. We're saying that's about a two. Come around. I'll tell you what. That's a tight cockpit in there. I don't think I'd fit. But anyway, so that's the first room. Get that done. So we're going to pause and go to the next room. All right, round two. We're in the second tent of uh, three, I believe. So we're going to start over here in the corner. We got a challenge to dive. We're just going to go down the line. Well, these, there's an F40 over there. There's a new Ford GT over there. There's a 275 that got a lot of patina, let's just say, that needs a lot of love. So there's real cars that are gorgeous. Z8. And I don't know if there's, do we call that in the molar red when that came out, but. 
it is stunning. So let's flip this around and get started. And there we go, we got the challenge Chidali right here. Coming across. Coming by. 225, 275. I'm gonna come on here. Go on this beautiful Porsche. 3.8 RS Club Sport. Wow, look at that. Black on black. Look at that estimate. We come around, let's get a shot of the backside of this bad boy. Coming along, wow, look at that. That is stunning. Come across. Come around, now we're going to go over to this Porsche that's right next door. Look at this. Look at that. We're going to start right off on the engine. Right off on the engine. 904 6 I'm Trying to walk around, I'm trying to walk behind me too, in front of me, so I don't run anybody. We'll come down. Come around. We got 2.5 to 3.25 on this. Come across. And here we got the 275 GTB that's been in storage for a long time and he's lots of love. As you can see, you go down, we got seam on that panel. It's going on both sides, on the quarters, the rears, and everything. So as you can see down here, you can see what's going on here on the sills. Yeah, so and then I'll give you an even scarier shot. Look at that. That is a gaggle of wires right there, my friend. So let's come back around, get that. Tell you what, it's gonna be a lot of time money going that thing will turn out that thing will end up gorgeous. And we got this awesome Pantera right next to it. I love the white. As you all know I'm a fan of white cars. My wife hates white, but I love the white, white with black. Beautiful stuff. I apologize. Get a little too close, but I'm trying to work my way around people. So, yeah, it's 75 is going to 120 to 150. Let's put L. See if we get a shot of the interior on this. A gated six speed. I don't want to open the door because I don't want to get in trouble. Let's see. Let's open the door, take a shot. Look at this. Look at that interior. Uh, I could fit in this bad boy. That is nice. Got that. Now next to it, we got the 968 Porsche. I love that blue. That's sharp. Look at that. This one actually might not be too bad, but 100 to 125 is an estimate. I don't know if you're going to be able to get that with the sun. Try and get so. Come back. All right. And then we got the. The biggest 4 GT that's at every auction now. I like this blue. That's sharp. That's nice. And they got this going at 950 to 11. So let's just see where that goes at. Then we got a Dino. We got Dino. Now these are basically as close as might be able to get. Say as a Ferrari. Um, a lot of fun. Not that badly priced. People really enjoy these. But they still got it at 275 to 350. So they are going up in value and price. And then we got the 427 next to it. Let's try to come around the back side here. Got a lot of people standing around this one. Coming around. I apologize my commentary is crappy, but I'm just trying to work my way around people and uh, try and get this as much as I can. So let's see if I can squeeze behind here. I don't want to drag my bag on it and scratch the paint or nothing. But that's a tuxedo black. Look at that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Good shot of the inside. Four speed. You can see that. What do they have this going for? They got this at about 250 to 350. It's a six to six. And then we got a 63 split window. Look at that. 
You got the original window sticker on here. From Jack Townsend Chevrolet. Ithaca, New York. I don't know why you can see that. Original price. Five nine four nine two five. Let's come around. Come around and see here's the staging lane for all the cars. There's quite a few M3s coming off uh, going through here. We've already had a couple already go along. Look at that Targa come across. That Dakar yellow M3. That's pretty good. That beautiful blue Porsche right there. Got 2002 behind it. Uh, it looks like that's a GT3 RS behind it. Then another uh, M3 behind it. Laguna Seca Blue. Let's go along here and see what we got here. Come along. And this is a Healy. It's got the, uh, the Le Mans windshield, I believe. 50 to 7. That's not too bad, hey. Walk like this bad boy. The interior's not too bad. It's got some scruffiness to it, but hey, it's well loved, right? Come on, come on down. And look at this right next. We got a Career GT. These things are going up in value, big time. These are becoming a hot ticket item. I think it's finally overcome that little Paul Walker incident and got his bad rap. But these things will uh, take you for a wild ride if you're not paying attention. It's got a carbon fiber knob on there instead of the balsa wood. I'd love to have my hands on one of these. That'd be outstanding to get, drive one of these. Well, someday, find someone that's nice out there. So anyone out there watching this the video stuff, if you got one of these and uh, you want me to come out, we'll do some video on it, talk to you about it, do some interview, take it for a drive, and do uh, post it up there. So let me know. So we got a Carrera Cabriolet. As you can see behind me, there does that Z8 that's right behind it. Coming on. So it kind of runs the gamut what you got here at the auction. See, this is 120 to 150. Then here's a beautiful Z8. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not quite sure back then they still call this a molar red or this is a different red. Can't remember what they called something different for the uh, Z8s. I love it. One of my favorites. Let's see what they're saying this is going to go for. Look at that, 275 to 350. So I don't know if you can scan the QR code from the video, but I'll hold it steady there if you want to get the info on it real quick. Look at that black interior. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that. Center stack dials. Good stuff. Got the hard top. Beautiful stuff. These are fun to drive. I actually got to drive one of these when they first came out. I was working at a BMW dealer, and they actually let us take it down the street, which is surprising because the owner was a complete you-know-what. All right, now here we go. Check this out. I believe this is a 911R. There's no, oh there it is, coming around in this green, metallic green. No, I'm sorry, this is a GT3 Touring, my bad. I'll tell you what, that looks fantastic. See, this would be the one I'd get, the GT3 Touring. You don't have that big wing on the back, and like that, we got 250 or 300. Coming around, lots of fun. And come back, we got the F40. A lot of these coming on the market. Take that, beautiful. And let's go across from here. We have Alfa Romeo. Sorry. Getting people's way. I just got a phone, but it is pretty blue. Coming across on that. We'll do some editing. This video is going to be kind of long. We got a Zagato body, Lancia, come across, we got a Cabriolet, and then we got a Maserati coming across. You don't see many of these, but these things are uh, not the most reliable mechanically wise. I hear lots of crazy stories you know, that it's going to cost you five times as much to get this thing running as it does to get it. So. And then behind me, we've got Foyt's High Rock Porsche. So we got to run the gamut here. we got race cars, street cars, a little bit of everything. Check that out. Get a shot of the interior. Got that. Let's see what they're saying this is going to go for. Wow. 
One one to one three. So then we got the Interscope Porsche. Who's that? That thing is impressive. They got this at one seven to one two. Nine three five. So we're just gonna go down here. We're gonna jump down. We got the archives. We're looking for stuff. Gonna check out this Porsche. We got quite a few Porsche race cars in it. I don't know if this is from that one collection or what. So this was going from one five to one eight. Nine three five. Look at that. That is too cool. Coming across Otis Chandler, John Thomas, the drivers. See if we can get into your shot of this bad boy a little bit. Again, apologize for my crappy filming, but I'm trying to do what I can with my phone because I didn't drag my other camera out here because this is just a lot easier to kind of get around. And then we got another Porsche. And this is actually a 911 Carrera RS 2.7 lightweight. Look at that. 750 to 950. Coming back. Look at that. The real deal. Not a touring, lightweight. Look at that. It's a good interior shot. Come across. Oh, it's got that Porsche smell on it. Oh, I love it. Come back around. The ducktail. Big fan of the ducktail. So now, if I got myself a GT3 touring, I'd probably throw a ducktail on there. I know I'd probably go against some people's things, but hey, that's just me. I got a Brumos Porsche here. Now, I don't believe this one that Hurley drove because uh, it doesn't have his number 59. But look at this. Look at the size of this wing on here. Look at the size of this wing. Come across. And the famous the red and blue stripe on the front. The iconic Brumos colors. It's come around. Yeah, they got Greg and Busby as the drivers. And they got this going at 1 million to 1 3. Get an interior shot of this. Check out the camera GT channel stick. That thing's cool. Oh, look at that. Bare bones. Look at that. Just nothing. Just you, the steering wheel, and the gear stick. There we go. I was saying that we got the Fiat Jolly behind us. Tell you what. Just come in some money and get a house on Iowa somewhere up on Kelly's or something back in Ohio. Get myself a Jolly. Tool that thing around. Got another Beamer. Another Porsche. I'm kind of running into a crowd of people, so coming around. Well, that is an RSR. Get a shot of that. I'll get it from the back side because I don't want to disrupt these people talking. They're in a little bit of a beating, it looks like. Come around. Damn, we got a Jeep T2. This looks like it's a 2002, maybe? Let me go around and see here. Let's get around. Coming around, coming around, coming around. 2001. Yeah. GT2. 250 to 200. It's in nice shape. We got another 930. I like this blue on this. The interior is outstanding. Very clean. I don't know if they had that redone. But it's pretty dang pretty nice and clean. Let's see. Let's go around here. Come around. Let's see if we can get what the mileage is on this bad boy. Twenty thousand eight hundred and thirty miles on this, so very low miles, very low miles. Turbo career, look at that. And then we got another RS. This is the uh, Bahama Bahamian Yellow, I think it's called. Come around, career RS. Come around on this. Take a nice little shot. Come around. Oh. So we got someone doing a knockoff there. Just a 911 T. So, finish off, we got a gorgeous Jag. So, there we have it. So, flip that back around. So, there we go. We got to that building now. We're going to go to the next one and see what else we can find. Stay tuned. Careful drivers. At Here we got ourselves a Dino. 
So I'm going to just go around a lot of these cars. I probably won't get them, but hey, just kind of give you an idea what's here. Now, this one's kind of interesting because it's got some patina to it. You can see some of the paint on the wall. You can see that. Some of that paint's crackling. You can see along here. Right in there. We got it on the gas cap. We'll go around. The seats are very well worn and loved, but no, I don't see many cracking or anything like that. Just, hey. It just needs some love. I'm sure the guys at Ammo can probably uh, bring this sucker back to life. Make this thing look hey, gorgeous. Mark. So go around. So it's a 74 GTS. Chairs and flares, I think. No, maybe not. My bad. And we got an estimate four to 500. So take a look at that. What are your thoughts?